Today I am uh, disassembling my subwoofer for, for my um, Soundstick 2 um, sound system by Harman Kardon. These are the satellite speakers. And uh, I'm doing this because the, um, the subwoofer have, has a, a blue LED light that uh, stays always on and to me it's quite uh, bothering because uh, at night I want to sleep and uh, the blue light um, annoys me a little bit so I was I'm trying to open this to cut one of the contacts for the LED light if, if that is necessary if I can just unplug something inside uh, it would be better, but uh, as a last resort, I'm willing to cut one of the contacts of the LED light to disable this because, uh, well, the blue light is not so. To me, it's not so so beautiful like that. So, I'm willing to to be part with the, with the blue LED light. So, the first step uh, is to remove your little. How should I say it? Uh, grommets. They they sit in the bottom of there are four feet in the subwoofer assembly so you just pull them off there's no they're not glued or something like that so you don't have to be afraid uh, to to uh, break something because uh, they are they have an hexagonal shape you can see here and um, your feet the feet of the, the subwoofer that come from come off from the assembly they will just um, fit right in uh, let me see if I can film this a little bit okay so as you can see they are a little bit uh, they have a, a, li a little I don't know how, how I should name this uh, well never mind so Let's see if I can film this. The idea is that you when you when you want to assemble your your sound sticks, they will fit like this. You have to pull this over a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. But you just pull this over and it sticks. I'm gonna do it again. So, you just apply a little gentle force and uh, they stick right in. So, just fix it around the side like this. And then, when this is over, you just stick them in, in the, the same place. They fit in. So, no need to be afraid to, to ruin these, uh, these little feet. So, to take, take a, fit apart, uh, a foot apart, just um, insert a, a flathead screwdriver and pull pull it over gently on each side and it will it will come off the plastic is a bit fragile so be careful when doing this and uh, they come right off no problem okay now continuing I've removed the four feet and the rubber grommets and now I'm going to get uh, Phillips screwdrivers, uh, how you call it, uh, and uh, remove each of the screws that go in the in the assembly, like this. Just unscrew them, the four of them flip over the, um, the subwoofer assembly, and the four screws just fall. They fall from the assembly, so you pick them up and set them aside. And here it is. Uh, I removed the the top uh, transparent cover and now I have access to the electronics let's see where the LED sits the LED is right here behind this uh, plastic cover so oh. so you remove uh, the bottom screws there are four four screws here as you can see there are four screws okay so after removing the um, the bottom cap you just take off the subwoofer it's a little heavy so I'll need 
Ok, now. We have to unplug um, two connections. I don't know if you can see them. Here. You just have to unplug the two. You'll just get, stick your um, flathead screwdriver here. And you can see the little LED underneath. So what I'll do is just... Uh, well, I'll just tape this with... Uh, some uh, duct tape or uh, ele electrical tape so no more LED problems for me okay so you can see the duct tape there and here also underneath so I'll just pull this um, this cover this transparent cover over and uh, it will trap the the duct tape in place. This is the final result. Uh, it's more like a standby light now. It's not as strong as before, by any means. So, yeah, if you want to put another layer of um, of duct tape, well, be my guest. Just uh, Put as many layers as you like. 